All right, let me turn this down. Try to make this simple. I'm gonna run through this. There is some setup you need to realize if you're on Windows or if you're on Mac, uh, and you're gonna be working in a command line interface. However, the script does walk you through the steps once you run it, so you don't really need to know like code and do stuff. You just need to kind of keep track of where you are in the folder hierarchy, and you can see here, just to demo, I'm putting this stuff here. There's two versions of this, Windows and Mac. The Windows version, you should be able to double-click this sound font converter. It will run this script, opening PowerShell and starting the script for you, and will be on step two. If you're on a Mac for step one, uh, you just need to open a terminal manually. You can like just do Spotlight, and you can do terminal. It's in applications, utilities. You run terminal, you get a window. Probably has you in your home directory when you start it. So you want to change directory, which is CD space, to this working tool directory here, right? So just drag this in here and then hit return when you're in there. Now I am in this folder if you take a list, ls minus al, you can see a list here. There's a README file and there's a convertsh because this is where I am. Okay. In the Windows world, you'll be there automatically, I think. So the next thing, all you want to do is set up some fonts that you want to convert. I highly suggest taking the fonts from wherever you have them, make a copy, and then bring the copy to this working directory. I know the README says to move these files into the font folder. You could totally do that, but you'll probably wind up with loose copies of these things laying all mixed in with your fonts. I suggest a standalone working directory somewhere safe that you know, hey, this is where I go when I do font conversion. You know, like desktop, and then put this thing on your desktop, and you'll always come into this folder with your fonts that you want to work with. So. Here's what I'm going to do. I have some Profi fonts in this Profi folder. It's Sound Font Maker A. It's Font 1, Font 2. These are Profi fonts, right? So to make it easy, I just named it generically. And we're going to move it into here with this stuff. Boom. Copy that. I also have the same thing for CFX. A little different layout just so you can see it works with a subfolder or not. Here's a loose one and here's another one in a different sound font creators subfolder, right? Okay, so now that the fonts are in the folder with the tool, we can access them with the tool. And the way we're gonna look at it, if you look at this Profi Sound Font Maker, if you open the README course you should read this it tells you you can convert all different ways it tells you how to everything I just said about how to get started you can do it multiple ways but this is the exemplary folder structure this is the part you want to look at sound fonts which in my case that is I told you a working directory instead so this is my sound font converter Mac or in your case maybe font Windows this is what this is here okay so, I mean, I could rename this just for fun. I'm going to name it what this is. So we actually know where we are. Okay. So pretend this is this folder. In there, I have my Profi folder, like here. Boom. And inside the Profi folder, I've got SoundMaker, SoundFontMaker. Okay, this says 1 and 1 and 2. I used A. Same thing. And these are the two fonts, and these are the two fonts. So that's what this picture is showing. Here's the file structure, okay? We are in this folder back here. We're in this level, okay? With this. In this window, this control, we are here, back here. So when it asks you, do you want to convert a font, it's going to go forward one directory, and look for fonts in there. So if we're here and we only go forward one, there's no actual fonts in the Profi folder. Actually two layers forward to get to 
where there's actually fonts subfolder. So you just got to keep in mind, you're going to have a path. Okay, enough setup. Let's run this thing. I think, uh, yeah, the Windows one will already start it for you. But Mac, I like to just drag it in there. Puts the path in by itself. You hit return, and here we go. Welcome to the sound font converter. Great. To convert a sound font, here's what you type. C to P for CFX to Profi. C to X, CFX to Zeno. P to C, Profi to CFX. See where this is going? So let's say I want to convert the ones we're looking at here. But they are Profi now, let's make them CFX. So I want to convert Profi to CFX. I hit return. You've chosen Profi to CFX, yes. Do you want to convert a single font or do you want to do several? Well, I'm going to do several. Okay, it gives me that option, so I'm going to choose two. Now the warning here is if you do choose two, you got to make sure that each subfolder only contains one sound font. That means if you were here and you chose the Profi folder, this subfolder does not only contain one font. This folder contains one font's files. This contains multiple files. So what would happen if you did it here, the warning is that it's going to take both all the contents of this one layer down folder and mix them into one font. That's why you always just want to make sure you're telling it to work from one layer above where your actual fonts that you want to convert are. Okay, so I'm going to say two. And here it says, you've chosen convert two. Each one must be in a single subfolder. So enter the name of the folder that contains the sound font folders. This is the folder that contains, this is the answer to the question. However, we're in here. Remember, we're back with the tool in this, in this directory, in this folder. So you need to add Profi to the path to the actual answer. This is what that means. You just type profi forward slash, or I don't know, on Windows it might actually be backslash, but you gotta play with it. Sound font maker A. Okay, that's the path, right? If I were walking here, I'm starting, how do I get over there? Well, you gotta get in profi, and then you can get to this. So I go into profi first, and then I go into sound maker A. Hit return, and here's the key. It found the following directories. Profi, Sound Font Maker A, Font 1. Hey, it found it. And Profi, Sound Font Maker A, Font 2. Great, it found my targets. Do you want to, you know, do each of these? It's confirming that, you sure you don't got multiple fonts beyond that? And the answer is no, that's just the files were cool. That's just the files were cool, so I'm saying yes. It does only contain one font beneath that. Okay, do you want a detailed conversion or do you want to just show the important steps? Well, details are good. It's basically going to scroll as it converts. Now here comes the magic. You hit one for show me the progress report. As you do it, you hit go. Converting, converting. It runs this. It took all of the Go to the top of it here. It took the begin locks and it made them into start locks. It took the blast and it made them blasters. It and it left the first one with no number and the rest of blasters get them. But clashes get a number and the rest of them are sequential. End locks don't go past eight characters, so it's not double digits there. All these little nitpicky things. Hum becomes hum capital M. I don't know. But all this is straightened out. Power off, skipping to, just to make a power off spelled like that too, and then coming back to regular power off to. Here's the thing. It made the folder for us, converted to CFX. You hit Profi, because that's, it took this folder here, this Profi, and it converted everything in it. So remember the path was here to here, and there was our font. Well, look, the conversion mirrors that. Here's your converted file on the path that you told me. Here's the font. And unlike the Profi one, which we saw is all subfoldered and their Profi names, you're going to convert it by CFX. And they're all there, just like the list says it did. All right. Maybe it's easier for you to just 
take the font without the whole path. Just put the just put the font in here. That's the easiest thing to do. You could just let's convert font to like I just did. I'm gonna go to the bottom here. We're gonna do I can do up that just pulls up the last commands that you've done. You got it running history. You could also just drag the script in there again, hit return, start it multiple ways, instructions are in the readme. So let's do that again. Let's do the profi font capital two lowercase capital C. Profi to CFX. You've chosen profi to CFX, yes. Do you want to convert one or multiples? Well, let's just do the one. So I'm going to say we're going to choose option one for one font. Okay, you chose to convert a single sound font. Please enter the name of the font containing the files. You may need to enter a path if it's a subfolder where you are. So it's reminding you here, such as sound font, you know, maker and then font. Well, it's actually right here because we're here with the tool. It's right next to us, no path, just the font name. So I'm just gonna copy font two. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna paste font two. It says, all right, well, I found that because it wasn't hard, font two. Does this only contain one sound font? worth of files? And the answer is yes. Actually, look, I grabbed the wrong thing. I grabbed the already converted one. I'm just going to toss this because this is done. I'm going to toss all the conversion we did. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to take it and do it. Now, because it's named exactly the same thing, even though I move things around, when it comes back looking for font two, now that there's one there, it's going to be fine with it. But here's the, the profi version. Does this only contain one font? Yes, look, there's only one fonts worth of stuff. Yes. Okay. Do you want the detail report or the easy? Give me the details. Choice one and go. There's all the conversions happening. I go to converted by CFX. No path because it was like we didn't put a path. So there is no path. The result is here. Here's the CFX. Works the other way too. Let's go into CFX and do the same easy way. We'll just put the font right in here with the tool. I'm gonna run the tool again. I'm gonna do CFX to Profi. Okay, now if we look in font three, that is a CFX named font. And I don't have it converted to Profi folder yet, so that's what's gonna get generated. All right, do you wanna do one font or multiples? One font. You need to put the name of the font. Well, the name of the font is font three. Does this font only contain one font? Yes, it does. Do you want the details report? Yes, I do. And there's the conversion. Here's the folder. Here's the result. Here's our profi files from the conversion. All proper and nice. Now, technically, I would personally go in here and take any singles that exist. I usually hum. If hum's the only one, for performance, you kind of want to get it. Um, I'm going to copy it and paste it in here and then delete the folder. Leave singles outside of subfolders and leave multiples in subfolders. So like here's four, so I'm going to get this out of here. I'm going to get rid of the, the folder. Font is by itself, you know, so there's a lot of extra layers to make it automatically do all that stuff. Um, you could just manually come in and massage it a little bit and you wind up with like a mixed bag, but there it is, a profi font. Let's do one more. Let's take a mm, CFX font on the path. Okay, here's an example. So I'm going to go up and run my tool again, and then I'm going to do what I say, CFX to Xeno. So let's do C2X. Okay. You've chosen CFX to Xeno. Do you want to do one font or multiples? Well, there's only one there. I'm going to do one. You chose to convert a single. Please enter the name, reminding me I might need to do the path because it's underneath a subfolder of a sound font maker, which it actually is. So to get to here from where I am, I need to go into CFX, sound font maker B, sound, uh, font four. That is the name of the thing it's looking for. Please enter the name of the font folder containing the sound files. That's this. So the name includes the path. Kind of getting the, the vibe here. CFX. 
I'm going to just copy this because I don't feel like typing it. Paste, forward slash, font4. Found it. Does this folder only contain one sound font? Yes, it does. Do you want the details report? Yes, I do. There goes the conversion, and now I've got to convert it to Neo, uh, Xenopixel folder. Here's the path that we entered because we entered it, and here's the font, and here's the crazy, I want to say silly, uh, naming convention with illegal characters and spaces in a file name. But that's what they want, that's what you get. So Xeno. So let's now I've got a new I didn't have any Xeno fonts. Let's take the Xeno font and I'm gonna name it so I don't get lost. Xeno font four. And I'm gonna put that back in our working directory. And then I'm gonna copy that name. I'm gonna run the tool again. And this time I'm gonna do Xenon, Xenon, Xeno Pixel to I don't know, Profi. Alright. You want to do Xenopixel to Profi? Yep. Do you want to do one font or multiples? One. Do you want to, uh, oh, you want to do a single font? Okay, give me the name and make sure if there's a path, you include that. Well, it's not because it's right here next to me, so I'm just going to paste the name of it. Found it. Great. Does it contain one sound font? Yes, it does. Do you want the detailed report? Yes, I do. There goes the print of the thing. Now, look, this is converted to Profi is where it went. Since I already had a Profi converted to Profi folder, it just kindly added it to my collection. Hey, now here's another one you converted to Profi. Xeno font 4. And look. Oh, uh, come on. Don't make me look bad. I should probably pick a sound that they actually have. Yeah. See, I'm going to have a bunch of empty folders here. Like n drag and NLock. That's just garbage. And you just clean up. Garbage. Drag. You know, you just put that in here. Toss this. Clashes, I should have a bunch. There they are. No color change. Dino's got no boot. There's the blast. No begin lock. No begin drag. There's no tracks. There's no accent swings. You got smooth swing. You got smooth swing. No stab. No spin. In this instance, no pre-on. And there's my outs and my lockup, which is a you know, you don't have to move it probably for Xena. I don't even know how. Maybe you got to take these all out of here. Oh, I made a Profi. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for Profi, I want it out of here. So we're, we're Profiizing this here. All right, I'm going to make Hum come out. Gone. Force. Fonts by itself. There. Boom. And there is Font 4 Profiized from Xena. That's kind of an exhausted way to explain what's going on. I think just repetition is your friend. Just keep playing with it. Just don't get lost on your path. I, I swear the easiest thing to do is just do one font at a time and drop it in here in your working directory and just paste the name by itself and hit go. That's kind of the move. It's powerful. You can do, you know, 20 layers down if you wanted to or multiple fonts. You can grab all of kyberphonics fonts that are profi put them in a folder call it kyberphonic and say choice two do multiples what's the path to the thing well it's here in kyberphonic slash profi fonts you know you want to convert all these to cfx yeah you hit go zoop, does it so there you go uh it's cool thanks to uh everyone on reddit for what they contributed started this whole crazy and I was up all night doing this so that's kind of why I'm a little amped on it had a good time it's certainly not clean I mean this code could certainly be consolidated and you know you could make some repetitional things but there's everyone's a little different because of uh, stuff so I'm gonna post it and that's it I'm out mmm